All right, today I'm going to be talking about an acoustic guitar, and if you're playing at church, there's a PA, or if you're playing somewhere, uh, you have a venue where you're actually wanting to go direct in and out to the main house speakers. So this would be, you know, the main house speakers out here, and that's your soundboard there. So how do you get your guitar, acoustic guitar, in there? And there's um, one simple way is to use a direct box, and we call it a DI box. And basically, the direct box is a simple box that's sitting on the stage, and it converts the microphone cable from it converts the guitar cable to a microphone cable. So most uh, PA's have a snake that run up to the board, and then you're supposed to run your guitar into the PA. So this is the best way to do it. You take a regular quarter inch cable out of your guitar and you plug it into the DI and then you take that mic cable that would come from um, let's say we're going to a snake. You just go to the snake. This is the snake on the stage. Okay, so this is the snake. And you just plug the mic cable just like you take you could take any mic cable. You know, actually, one thing I do sometimes when I visit churches, I'll just take the mic, I'll just take a mic off stage, unplug it, and put it into my, the direct box there. And then this snake takes all of the, you know, all of the the entire thing up to your board. Okay, and it goes in. So basically, guitar quarter inch cable. This is what your guitar plugs into usually, into the direct box, and this is your mic cable, and it goes over to your snake and the snake goes to the board. Now, if you have a onboard EQ, like on my Taylor, I have an onboard EQ. I have like three EQs, then I have a volume. I like to keep my volume when I'm doing a sound check between 50 and 75 percent, okay? This is what I like to do. That way I have a little bit more room. So really about three o'clock. So you can put your volume here to here, somewhere in there. You want to have a little bit of room to to change your volume. Then you tell your sound guy, he sets your gain up here to whatever it is, and then when you get to playing, you have a little bit of wiggle room. You can wiggle back and forth a little bit here to get a little volume, less or more volume. And that's going to cause your acoustic guitar to come out here. I also um, usually will run a smiley face on my EQ, um, just like a little smiley face on my EQ like that. A little bit of high, I scoop out the mids a little bit, a little bit of lows. Depending on the relationship you have with your sound guy, there is a three band EQ usually on the soundboard so he can EQ you. If that's the case, then you just want to put your all of your EQ flat. So you just run those flat right across there. But it's you most guitars sound better with a little boost in the high, a little boost in the low, and a scoop on the mids. So direct boxes um, are just a pretty simple thing to have. They're anywhere from twenty-five to $50, but a basic simple direct box is all you need.